Aging has been one of the laws of nature since the beginning of time. We're born, then we grow up, but we also grow older, eventually losing some of the abilities we once had when we were young. Our bones weaken, we lose flexibility in our muscles and our minds become less sharp and agile. It becomes more challenging to learn a skill, remember people's names, or to go for a run. But what if there was a way to improve our health as time passes? Essentially aging, but in reverse. Part 1. Why we age. Put very simply, aging is a degenerative process that ultimately leads to tissue dysfunction and death. Modern scientists and researchers are learning that it's not necessarily genetic mutations that cause aging, rather it is more about how our DNA is able to be read that contributes to the aging process. As we age, it becomes more difficult for our cells to read DNA. Within our DNA, there remains a copy of our youthful epigenetic information, but our cells forget how to read it. There is a backup copy of software within the gene that can be reset. This is like turning your phone off and on to turn it back to its original capabilities and reset its function. Imagine taking a pill that would enhance your cell's ability to read its original DNA. This would be like turning back the clock. Pretty soon, you may have the choice. Epigenome targeted treatments could be the next frontier in scientific innovation. Humans could then reverse their own aging from the inside out. Part 2. Can aging be reversed? You may be familiar with the short story The Curious Case of Benjamin Button by the American author F. Scott Fitzgerald or the Brad Pitt movie of the same name where a man was afflicted with the condition of aging backwards. Scientist Dr. David Sinclair and his team at the Blavatnik Institute at Harvard Medical School earlier this year successfully conducted the Benjamin Button effect in mice, meaning that they could reverse the mice's aging process entirely. In the labs, older, blind mice were able to regain their eyesight healthier muscle and kidney tissue, as well as develop younger brains. The targeted cells were aging in reverse to 50 to 75% of their original age. But why that is remains yet to be discovered. These mice lived a full 18 weeks longer on average than their counterparts in the control group. How did they do it? The research suggests that it's all in the cells. Our genes contain epigenomes, which are basically the proteins and chemicals that tell the genes what to do. They do this because they are made up of chemical compounds and proteins that attach to DNA. An example of a chemical compound in some epigenomes is called a methyl group. A methyl group on a DNA molecule would prevent certain genes from being expressed when epigenomes are attached to a DNA molecule, they can turn genes on or off and control the protein production of particular cells. As we age, our cellular process gets triggered by pollution or environmental toxins, like metals, for example, nickel or arsenic, or chemicals like dichlorosetic acid. These toxins can make it more challenging for our epigenomes to share their information from one to the other. This is because the toxins create changes within the epigenome which causes them to malfunction. For example, certain types of cancer are caused by changes in the epigenome. In order to maintain good health, our epigenomes must be able to adjust to human pressures. Without healthy epigenomes, our DNA cannot be repaired. As a result, we age and our body and mind weaken. By rebooting the mice epigenomes and restoring their cellular ability in the lab, the researchers were technically able to reverse aging from the inside out. Dr. David Sinclair and his team discovered that by manually turning on certain genes, 
aging could be reversed. A gene is switched on or off when a portion of chromatin opens. Chromatin is a complex of DNA and protein, and having the chromatin open allows the gene to be read. When the genes are able to be read, the aging process can then be slowed down. In this study, the researchers found that by turning on three Yamanaka factors, a group of proteins within a gene that help control how DNA is copied, the mice were safely able to reverse their aging by 50%. Meaning, the mice were able to go back in time to half their age on a cellular level, remain in that state, and ultimately live much longer than they would have naturally. Part 3. How can we live longer, perhaps forever? How to live longer and possibly forever has been a topic for scientists and researchers since the dawn of humankind. Up until now, the record for the longest lifespan is 122 years, reached by a woman from France named Jean-Louise Calmont, who died in 1997. However, that might just be scratching the surface of the true human potential, since a recent study showed that humans lose all resilience sometime between ages 120 and 150, not even taking into account the revolutionary anti-aging drugs that are currently being developed. One particularly promising drug called senolytics should destroy only the bad senescent cells in your body in the future. Some experimental drugs may even prevent cells from becoming senescent in the first place. And what does senescent cell actually mean? Cellular senescence refers to a state where a cell ceases to replicate but remains alive. In such cases, certain senescent cells transform into harmful zombies, wandering through the body and releasing inflammatory substances that damage healthy cells, including the vital stem cells responsible for tissue repair. However, it's worth noting that not all senescent cells have negative effects. Dr. Paul Robbins explained that some of these cells release beneficial chemicals that aid in the process of wound repair. As individuals reach the age of 60, the human body, especially the immune system, faces increased challenges in effectively eliminating harmful senescent cells. This accumulation can subsequently trigger tissue damage and failure. However, if the Benjamin Button effect on the mice in the lab is any indication, humans may have the ability to slow down aging sooner than we think. Billions of dollars are being poured into research that would enable humans to turn back the clock as we speak. So the question remains, how badly do we want to be young again?